Last. <laughs> Last. Promise. It's so yummy. That's it. Simple and you make your children happy. Welcome to my episode 2 of my vlog. I want to thank everybody who watched my first vlog with the family. I want to thank everybody who liked, who subscribed, and even left good comments. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Most of the messages, the comments, and the direct messages I get, gusto ninyo na dumiretsyo na ako sa aking mga recipes. So I'm going to cook today the top one recipe na hinihingi ng mga anak ko sa akin. Ito lagi yung pinapaluto nila sa akin kapag birthday nila. We have special gatherings or whatever. It's very simple. Okay, so today we are going to make Marjorie's Salpica. Alam nyo, I've seen that I know for a fact na marami talaga ang versions ng Salpica. Bawat mommy, bawat household. Iba-iba ang style nila sa pagluto ng Salpica. Ang akin, napakadali po. Very, very easy. I will show you right now kung ano lang ang mga recipes ko. Of course, we need good beef for beef salpigao. Other moms, other people, they use sirloin. But for my kids, when they ask for this, because it's special on the occasion, I use ribeye steak. So today, I have four pieces of ribeye steak, which I buy from Meats and Company. So napakadali lang. I just call up Aliana, and she delivers it to us. And it's not very expensive, kaya kaya. Today, we're only preparing four pieces of steak. Pero sa totoo lang, if you count my five kids, plus my son-in-law and me, kulang sa amin ang eight pieces of steak because itong salpikaw na to, we eat this lunch, and then merienda, and then dinner, paulit-ulit. So, kailangan marami. Of course, we will cut this into cubes. And then, ito lang kailangan natin. Olive oil. And my salpikaw, lots of pepper. Lots of garlic, which I cut into chips. Itong siling to, siling sigang. My kids like it that way. A little butter and nor seasoning. Ito po ang aking talagang main ingredient dito. Nothing else. All you need are these ingredients and you already have really yummy beef salpicaos. Sandaling sandali lang tong lutuin, kaya let's start. Let's wash for some hands. Paborito ni Liel to, so we are going to make Liel eat everything. Okay, so let's cut it first. Let's cut. Let's transfer. So of course, very simple lang naman to. We need it to be cubes, di ba? Okay, so that. Yan. Okay. Alright, and then. Yan. Masarap dito sa steak kasi may mga taba. You like the taba, kuya? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay, so after slicing it into cubes, we are going to marinate. Okay, so normally, I use this nor seasoning. What I do is I keep it marinated for three hours. I've been watching um, some of the salpicao versions sa YouTube. Sa hikita ko, other people do it in different ways. As a matter of fact, I'm so happy that because my kids are learning how to cook na. This is pepper, ha? Ako, I'm super OA with pepper. Everything I cook, kailangan marami with pepper. Okay, so going back to, there are several versions of salpicao. Okay, so, ang ginawa ko one time, nung wala akong magawa, I watched uh, YouTube, and I saw na other people do it in different ways. Ang dami-dami din ang ingredients. Some even put sugar. That's okay, that's really their style. But for me, this works for us. When we travel abroad, and we cook, let's say, for New Year and Christmas, ito pa rin ang hinihingi ng mga bata sa akin. And sometimes in the grocery in the States, I don't find seasoning like this. So I use Kikoman. And it's still na sara. Kasi how my kids know na iba. Alam nila na kind of different. So siguro na sana na sila. Okay, so marinate that. Now for others, like my sister in law, when she cooks her salpicao, although she doesn't use the same ingredients, for her, she mixes na everything and then fry na kaagad. Ako gusto ko talaga. Make it sit for at least an hour. At the least. That's pepper. This is pepper. Okay. Papa happy. <laughs> I love pepper. There you go. Yan. I know. 
Leon is so excited. Alam nyo, this is not only for moms. Ito, si Leon nanonood ngayon. Yeah. So, kahit siya kaya-kaya ka na, next time siya nang gagawa nito. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for an hour or more. So let's say you're gonna serve this for lunch. So just marinate. Okay, we're done already marinating. So what I do is I put everything beside me. Okay, so I'm heating this up already. It's very, very simple. Okay, let's move it a little bit. Okay, higher. There. Okay, I'm going to put this to here. Kasi mamaya it's a set aside. Alright, okay. Habang nagmamarinate ka, tapos sisilip-silip mo, it is okay na dagdag-dagdagan pa. Okay, okay lang yan. Now, I'm going to put. I don't put too much olive oil kasi may taba nung beef lalabas. So this is my way, ha? I know others do it their way. So we're just gonna wait for the heat. And then I'm gonna put my garlic. Okay, again, garlic chips. You want more, Koy? Yeah. Yeah? Let's just put it all there. Kasi yung toppings pa eh, di ba? Okay. There you go. And of course, we all know that hindi naman natin siya kaya ang masunog. Not so good. And then, I put this aside. Kasi hinaan natin ng konti. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. And then I'm gonna put butter. Okay. So everything I cook has lots of garlic. And butter. Konti pa nga ito, nahiya ako eh. Shocked, it smells good. Okay. Grabe, ito pala ang ulam mo. Hindi ko siya mataas yung tar. I put my pepper again! I don't know why, but I do. There you go. Okay, so I put that, okay? And then, in a weird way, I will put my siling sigang. Okay, so siya separate ko lang. Yan. Konting butter lang and garlic yan. Kasi gusto ko siyang mag-lasa. Can you smell it, Kuya? Yeah. Ang sili. Not good. Maanghang yan. That's my favorite also. Oh, you like this also like that? Grabe ka na, no? So, may nasalay ka na sa maanghang. Okay. There. See, ang ganda kasi tignan pagka-garlic chips yung style. And then I will set it aside. So, I don't really want the garlic. I don't like it crunchy. We don't have it crunchy, so I will set this aside now, huh? Okay. Kuya, why do you love this so much? I don't know. Um, before, I don't eat real food, but this is one of the first real foods I've eaten before when I was fat. Sad? Fat. Oh! <laughs> I thought when you were fat. So I'd only eat junk food, and then you made me taste this, and I fell in love right away. Well, anyway, you know, kasi tong saltikaw na to. Pagka dinadamihan ka talaga luto dito, Okay? Pag may sobra, tapos madaling araw na, let's say midnight na, alam mo pa ng mga bata, pwede mo itong gawing salpicao fried rice. Okay? So, dapat madami. Pag may sobra, we put it in the ref. Naku, the kids like to eat it again the next day. And I'm so happy because um, my kids, like Julia and Danny, are learning how to, to cook. And Danny has her own version now of the salpicao. I believe her version is she puts mushroom. So that's really interesting. So, iba iba talaga ang style. Okay. Now that it's set aside. Okay, so before, if we have, kunari, eight pieces of steak, tapos nagmamadali man ako magluto, sinasabay-sabay ko lahat. I'm gonna put olive oil in the same pan. Sinasabay-sabay ko lahat. And then I realized, pag maraming magkakasabay na tutubik, it's not the kind of salpicao na I like. So, ang gagawin ko, I will cook it in batches. Konti-konti. Katapos nun, pag konti-konti siya, na-achieve ko yung gusto ko. So, while it's hot, I'm going to put a little bit. Okay? Konti-konti lang. Pang isang order lang. There we go. Okay. So, you do it that way. Mas mabili siya maluto. And then, while I'm frying that, there I go again. I add again my lore. And pepper me. In the same pan, and pa yung lasa ng sili, at saka yung butter and the garlic. So, nagiging spicy na rin siya. There we go. Sarap! I think this is good na. Okay. So, lalagyan ko na siya. There. Mm. Yan lang siya, ha? Tapos, ito yung taba. Gusto ko medyo mas, mas luto yung taba. Okay. We will put another batch. Okay, excuse me, Koy. Pwede na yan. Hindi na yan mag-tutubig. Okay, and then I will add again. Ayan na 
Alam mo, mukha lang kala mo, lalabas na maalat, but hindi. It's really malasa. There, so... Let's set it aside. Alright, now I'm gonna put the last batch. See? Ang bilis lang na actually, kaya na ang gamit ko na dito kaya. Okay? What do we usually have this with? We have... Bagay dito, mashed potatoes. O ano mo, ito lang yan, tsaka rice eh. Everything I cook, talaga maraming pepper. Pagka natapos ko na itong last batch, babalik ko ulit yung garlic chef and uh, siling sigang. Paghahaluin ko, kasi gusto ko magkaroon ng tanghang. I'm going to put back the garlic. I'm going to put this back, kasi gusto ko ihalo siya. And then I'm gonna put this all back. Okay, so you see, it's it. So, maanghang na ngayon yung beef kasi niluto natin yung sili with it. Ayan. Wait, wait. Last. <laughs> Last. Promise. It's so yummy. Okay, then you will just add. Ayan. Ayan. Yan na yung ingredients ko. That's it. Simple. And you make your children happy. Okay, so okay, we're done na. And then we're gonna put it na here. Tapos, kakainin namin ni Kuya. And there you go. Because Kuya likes a lot of garlic. I will save some for Julia and Chloe. Kung wala na yung aking Harvey and Danny, wala sila. Kuha tayo ng konting sauce. Okay. Ito yung masarap sa kanin eh. Pandan, kasi gusto ni Kuya. Maraming sili. Again, hindi ko talaga siya, hindi ko piniprito talaga yung ano ah, yung garlic. Because I don't like magpait. Ayoko siya yung crunchy. Alright, Kuya. You've been waiting for this yeah. because it's hard to buy steak when you're in lockdown. Go yeah. ahead, do the honors. Oh. Um, white, very hot rice. So I want to thank Leon for shooting the vlog. Thank you very much. No we, we kind of have to give credit to the sticky rice. Okay, Leon likes sticky rice. Ako naman, gusto ko yung rice ko. Brown at saka matigas. Pagka ang rice sticky sa akin, yun ko pinapakain mo kong lugaw. Although I love lugaw, Take it Take muna, natin ang sauce okay. with sile. <laughs> okay. Mmm. How was it? Very good. Oh wow. I like it. It's so juicy also. Mmm, ang sarap. Ang lambot lang yun. Yeah, that's ang what... sarap. Kuya, yeah. yeah. anong favorite mong niluluto ko para sa inyo? For me, salpicao. Mm. Her truffle pasta. Truffle pasta. Baked spaghetti. Baked? And my number one, uh, my number two, because my number one is half account. My number two would be your chicken. I will share that with everybody. Kaya lang may baking involved yun. Yeah. Nako. So gusto ng mga bata yung chicken na yun. Mahirap lang lutuin ng kong chicken. Wait, it's really good, mom. Good job. Good job? Yay! So you know, I really hope na finally na share ko. I'm sure mabibigla kayo na napakasimple lang ng ingredients namin. But tama tama lang yung pagka spicy niya, tama-tama lang yung alat niya. Tapos nagko-complement yung sile at saka yung garlic dahil hindi siya minced. Nakakain mo siya. And it's not crunchy. So, I don't know, I just like it that way. So, I'm sharing with all of you my beef salpicao. I hope you try it. And um, for my next vlog, I'm going to cook something else. Favorite rin ng mga bata. Gagawin natin in order. Top one ng mga anak ko. Using second, third, fourth. In the meantime, we're going to eat. And thank you so much again for watching. Bye!